In this video we're going to talk about set screws and we're going to take a look at some CAD first off. This uh, particular assembly right here uses uh, four set screws to hold these uh, these rods, these shafts in place. And um, I'm going to make this part transparent so we can see that. Here we can see in black we have four set screws. You can see some red items kind of wrapped around. Those are uh, helical inserts. Um, they're not really part of what we're talking about, so I'm going to hide one of them so we can clearly see the set screw, which is right here. Now, set screws are used to uh, bind down on a part or clamp or hold a part in place. In, in this particular instance, we're using the set screws to hold these rods in place. We don't want the rods to slide uh, in or out of this hole. And other than the set screw, there is nothing preventing the rods from, some, from slipping out one way or the other. We don't want that to happen, so we are uh, using these set screws to, to bind down on them. Now, the, uh, the helical insert is uh, affixed positionally relative to the hole in this transparent block. So the helical insert is locked in place. That does not go anywhere. And when you screw your, uh, your set screw in, uh, it, it, uh, it is engaging with the threads in your helical insert or we could have chosen to not use a helical insert and just had threads directly in this hole. Um, it, it, the set screw would work the same either way. Uh, anyway, we, uh, once the set screw reaches the component that it needs to lock down, it will, it will start to uh, uh, push against that part and the friction created by the tip of the set screw pushing against the rod will uh, prevent the rod or you know, it could be a different component but will prevent that component in this case a rod from uh, from moving back and forth and that's uh, that's how and why set screws are used there are a large variety of different types of set screws as you can see here um, different materials and finishes. They are typically steel or stainless steel and there are a few different uh, driver interfaces that you can find. Uh, the, uh, the hex driver interface is, is probably the most common but you can also find them with uh, slotted heads or um, uh, that, those might be the only two that come to mind at the moment. Um, but more often than not, they're this, this Allen key interface here. And then there are different tips as well. In, in this picture here, um, you can kind of see a, a few different tips. One of them is conical. Well, here's a better angle. Uh, this one here is conical. Um, uh, some of them have, have flat, non-marring tips. Um, this one down here, this is called uh, a cup tip. It's kind of a concave uh, surface there. Uh, we'll go to McMaster and we'll take a look at a few of these. Uh, so we have cup point and non-marring. Um, one thing to remember when you're dealing with a set screw is that uh, the force of that set screw pushing against the part you're trying to lock in place that can mar the part if, if you're not if you're not careful. Um, a steel uh, set screw tip pushing hard into you know any other material has the, the potential of marring that part so um, they do have these these non marring set screws and they work pretty well but but even then you have to be careful not to you know really bind down too hard on those um, and then there there are a few uh, you know a few other styles as well there's uh, like this cone we were looking at the extended tip um, so those uh, those are some set screws. Here we go. We have a, an oval style, a soft style. The soft style here is probably the the the, uh, the safest in terms of not marring uh, your part, um, but it also you, you might not get quite as good retention with something like that as well. Um, it, it's usually it's usually not a big problem unless you have a really high uh, tolerance or precision rod or, or or part that you're binding down on and you need to be able to slide that really high tolerance rod through some really high tolerance 
uh, interface. Maybe there's some bearings or something like that. And, and if you do mar that rod, then there's a chance that uh, it, it could be difficult to pull that, that rod out of you know the, the bearing or, or whatever precision interface that it's been placed through. But for example, in, in our application, I'll switch back to the CAD. We had uh, sufficient clearance in these uh, in, the, in the holes in this block. Let's see if we can get a good view. Uh, you can see that there's a little bit of clearance here. We had enough clearance that we weren't too worried about not being able to get these parts out. And, and to be honest, um, even if the parts didn't come out, they don't really need to. They're, they're going to stay in there forever. So that's an overview of set screws. If you found this content helpful, consider enrolling in our signature program at mypipelineacademy.com. Whether you're an individual interested in beginning a new career as a mechanical designer or a company interested in training your new engineering hires, our signature program helps students develop the practical skills they need to be productive mechanical design engineers. Seating is limited. We hope to see you there soon.